I get comments on the channel all the time about EcoFlow stream owners who are unhappy that you can't hook up your existing power stations, they might be EcoFlow or other branded, and you can't transfer the power into the EcoFlow stream system. Well, I've messed around with a few different possibilities. Now, the EcoFlow stream MPPT voltage is a bit too high. Both the startup voltage and the operating voltage really need over 20 volts to input some DC power into the EcoFlow stream device. And there's no easy way of extracting 20 volts from one of these devices. However, if like me, you have several of these cables because you have several stream devices, you should whack a three pin plug on the end, not to plug into your home circuit, of course, we would never do that, safety first, your honor. Um, but you can quickly change um, this cable and you can pop it into your portable power station. And then before you do it, before you turn on the AC circuit, go into your EcoFlow stream settings, Go to automations, set your backup reserve to 100%. And as long as you've got your backup reserve set to 100%, this will only draw power. And so then you can safely plug it in, turn the AC circuit on. Depending on your power station, the two that I've tried, they both have a safety cutout anyway. So I did actually try and feed power from the EcoFlow stream into the battery. It didn't like that. It cut off the circuit. It turned off the AC circuit and isolated that. So set your automation to 100%. And as you can see, I'm now charging at 1200 watts. So that was at 100%. You can see it's got three hours and then it will fully charge. And because this unit is the same battery capacity as that unit, this one at the moment is at 10% and it will be fully charged within the next few hours. And then I can uh, change the cable back over, turn that, put that back into my house circuit, and then I can start feeding my house from that via that. Does that all make sense? Pop some questions and comments below.